Welcome back to another day of wrestling with ski. Happy Monday to you. And thankfully a few people, if you're as tired of my voice as I am, it's going to be a quick one because there really wasn't a lot of really anything to matches on Friday night across the board on all the shows. I mean, the show start SmackDown started with the Usos, Roman, all the normal stuff. Instead of a good main event, but that's how they start every show and then them ending it. Kofi and you know, defeated Madcap in a quick one. Aaliyah defeated Natty. That was quick. The Viking Raiders destroyed Los Otarios in like five seconds. That was quick. Charlotte Naomi with Sony making herself the ref and doing all that again. That was like dragging it out even longer for doing the same stuff. In short, that insane nonsense was dumb. You could tell that Ivan Knoxville could say that when they got booed out the building. Sheamus against Ricochet, that was at least a decent match. Seth and KO defeating the Usos and getting barred from ringside. We all knew that was going to happen. Like, no one could say they didn't know that was going to happen. Like, you actually have to be crazy to not have seen that coming. And it was just so quick. Um, It was a good match, at least. Like, what we all saw the ending coming. We all knew when they made it, Seth and KO were going to win. So, I mean, there was a lot of that. And it was just such a quick, quick night. Again, Kofi and Madcap wasn't the worst thing. We got to see Big E back with them, but it was just so, like, everything was just really, really just horrifically fast. Minus, like, the last two matches. And they weren't the greatest things in like the world, but again, Sheamus and Ricochet, we see them having good matches. Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and the Usos. We all know they're going to put on a good match. They've been putting on good matches. They always do. Now we all, but we all know who's going to win it. And you know, I just don't get the point. Like that's what's turning people away so much because we can all see it coming. It's the same thing over and over again. I mean, look at Sonia and that whole thing. I mean, did we get to see Zia Lee come out and stop Natty when she was attacking? Aaliyah? Yes. Yes, we did. Did we all know that was going to happen? Yes, we did. Like, sorry, not sorry kind of thing? I don't know. Like, what do you want from me? Like, Good to see Zaya. I was, you know, disappointed to see all the, you know, martial arts stuff and the fake electricity and all that being with their entrance and all still. But I mean, hopefully they do something with it. That's the big one. Like, do something with it this time. Like, she showed up, she was there for five seconds, and no one saw her for months. Like, it's just, it's just disappointing to me. I mean, literally, like most of that, I just went through really went by in like record fashion. Just da 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 da. They're like they're getting lazy. And this is the time of year where the shows are supposed to not suck. It is. We are on the road to WrestleMania. I mean, as of this Saturday, I mean officially, as they call it. Yeah, like so it we shouldn't be able to like be going, okay, this is what's gonna happen. Like, or maybe it's just me. I don't think it's just me. But it was really, really disappointing to see it, you know, go so fast. And just so much, why do you even waste the time doing? Because that's not going to entertain anyone in the crowd. Like, I really don't see anyone being excited by, like, four or five, like, two-minute matches. Like, you get to see, like, some good ones at the end, but, like, an hour and... 35 minutes of just nonsense. I'm sorry. It's not going to cut it anymore. And then we get on to Dynamite. Mox defeated Ethan Page, and it was a good match. For his first time back, new body type, first time out of rehab. Like, it was good to see him back, and then he could still go. I'm sure it's, we know it's going to get better. And seeing, you know, Brian being there afterwards, you know, I think that those two could put together really good stuff. And as we all know, it's supposed to be those two. We, we, I mean, we all pretty much know it's supposed to be those two going at it to determine who was going to be 
facing off again, you know, like get the title shot against what turned out to be Hangman. Uh, no, it's good to see it. And it's good to see it now that they're not constrained by, like, I'm sure they face each other in the machine, but it wasn't anything like memorable or worthwhile because it was the machine. They have the constraints. Here's your move set, ready to go. Like they could have had a great match per the machine standards, even with that. But I think it'll be really good to finally see it happen, especially now with Mox in a better place all around. And I will say it was nice to hear Seth Rollins next in Mox and the Shield on SmackDown. That was good just to hear him do it. Uh, instead of trying to pull some Dean Ambrose stuff, like at least they went there. But wasn't the greatest match again. But it wasn't the, it was better than most of the stuff on SmackDown. They did put on a good match for, for and it led to him and Brian finally. So, I mean, overall, that did help everything just because it got us to that point that we were supposed to see back in October, I believe it was. So I'm not complaining about that. I'm ready to see it. I'm excited for it. I said that they're not in the machine, but, you know, only an okay match. The next match, you know, Trent Beretta with Orange Cassidy defeating Nick Jackson. He had Matt Jackson and Brandon Cutler there. Uh, I thought it was by far the best match of the night. Um. Uh, so that was a big one for me. And again, it was good to see you. Jackson's can wrestle. Just, I look at them and they hurt my brain. Do I think that's a tag team that are as big as everyone makes them out to be? No. Um, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Not at all. But are they, you know, great wrestlers? Yes. Did Nick Jackson put on a great match for Trent Breda? Yes. And then they're doing all kinds of stuff. I thought that was the match of the night. It definitely. I thought it should have been the main event. Definitely, definitely thought it should have been the main event. Um, no offense to Jade Cargill or Anna Jay, but you now we all know why they made that the main event. Yeah, you know, TBS title, like first defense of it. So we know why they did it. I just think they should have flipped the order of that. And again, that wasn't a bad match either. It's, I thought Trent and Nick Jackson put on a better match. Uh, Hook defeated Serpentico in like a couple seconds. Shocker. Like it was cool the first couple times. Now he's facing this guy. It's like, yeah, he's just okay. We all know it's going to happen. He all tangled up in his streamers too. So it just looked dumb. But that wasn't very exciting. I mean, it was cool again the first couple times. But like, let's do this long. Can we finally see him having to do real matches? Like, I mean, he had the one where he actually got pushed a little. But can we get to that point now? Because we know he's just going to run through people, obviously. We figured that part out. Can we please, like, move on to him actually facing people? They're all, oh, he might not win this one. Like, can we get him to that? Or at least people like that he actually has matches with, not just maulings. So, again, him actually having a little bit of a match at one time was nice to see. It was refreshing compared to just whooping on someone. You know, he gets old after a while. And... I that, but I just I want to see him start wrestling people that you know the matches go more than 45 seconds. That's that's it. Like great. He's talented. I'm not taking that away from Hook. He has all the potential in the world coming, you know, with the genes and all that that he has from Taz and what Taz used to do back in the ECW days. I think he could have been used better in WWE and you know, not lose that match to. Triple H from a low blow and like all that. Like I thought he was really, really good in the ring and training people. So I just like to see him, you know, get a match where he's actually pushed just a little bit, not a lot. I'm not looking for a big thing yet because he is still so young in his career, but push him a little bit. It's that much. Just, you know, wrap it over. You go, oh, no, he went, like, put him an extra 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah. You know? Yeah, every match or so, just keep adding to it. It's where he's actually having matches. This is as impressive as he is, him just keeping on rolling through people. People are going to get over it sooner or later. And people are really into it now. So, you know, build it up a little bit here and there. You know, give them a tough match. Don't just have them maul people. I'm over it. And again, Jade Cargill with Smart Mark, you know, all that successfully defended the TBS championship. Against Anna Jay with John Silver, I, I've seen better, but I've seen worse. Again, I 
didn't even think it was that bad of a match. I mean, was it the greatest thing? No, they're still both, you know, and better and improving and all that. But it got to be her first defense. It was a big thing. I just think that, yeah, Trent and Nick Jackson match, just with everything that they've been going around, how much they've been pushing this as like the big thing with Adam Cole and all them involved, that that could have been, you know, the main event over this. But it wasn't bad. It just, you know, it wasn't good. And people make comparisons to her, to Joni and all that. Like, I don't get that either. Really? I mean, no offense to Jade, you know, but. Everyone's going to keep getting better, hopefully. And, you know, um, we'll see what goes happens with Thunder Rosa and all that. Um, and the Jurassic Express and the Gun Club and all those things, you know. We know there's going to be a six-man tag, right? I mean, sure enough, when they come back, like they said it. So whenever that happens, it'll be good. Um, I just like seeing Christian in the ring. It doesn't have to happen all the time, but just. You know how he had to feel when he was actually like back out there was great. So I'm looking forward to that. But it was really like again, most those like three matches that were actually good. And again, Jaden and Anna Jay, no offense. Like it was I'll say it was a good match, but yeah, you know, it wasn't the like it shouldn't have been the main event to me. So you know, as much fun as it was to see. You know, everyone that was on SmackDown, it was just so fast. And again, it was good to see Mox back. That was a good match with him and Ethan Page. They put on a good one. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world. It wasn't the clinic. That's what Mox and Brian are going to do. Like, that, that was the match we were supposed to see months ago. So that's going to be, like, I think they're going to put together something spectacular. And I think we all agree that they're going to put on something spectacular when the time finally comes. And it would have been so good before, but now that he's clean, new bodies up, like I think it'll be even better now that he's all clean and sober, his head's on right. Like I think it'll be great. Um, so that's an exciting part, but it really, I mean, they could have compressed like the three hours that wrestling was on. They could have cut it down to about 45 minutes to an hour and not wasted two hours of the rest of our lives that we'll never get back, just in my opinion. So, I mean, let me know. I'm thinking about I'm just going to go back and cover. Like I used to all the time, you know, just watch some old wrestling and, you know, older times, whether it's way back when to the attitude era to ruthless aggression, just stuff like old NXT days and black and gold before it got all stupid, like cover matches and stuff from that, because doing this, like, it's just the same thing over and over again. That's really my biggest problem with it. It's, it's repetitive and it's predictable all the time. Yeah. And that's just my problem with it. So let me know if you want to do that. Cause I have no problem going back and watching one night stand and TLC matches and all kinds of, you know, old Royal rumbles, all that stuff. Just let me know. Cause I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. Maybe even get hand in on some of them, you know, which I think would be, you know, fun to get her in there and to watch some of these things. So she don't understand why I'm still sitting here. Ah, this sucks so bad, but I, you know, keep trying, hoping that's going to get better. And they still have their good moments, but you know, it's not where it was. I think they can get there if they try. And to close out, I will say, as I was complaining about last week, you hear, I sound much better. I don't feel fully better, but somehow both of her tests, you know, rapid and PCR were positive and both of my tests, both rapid and PCR were negative. How that one worked out. I still felt it, but enough for me to actually be, you know, detectable at all in my body so hooray hurrah for that but i'll be back on thursday to talk about i think we're gonna do a uh pre-show with predictions and all kinds of stuff for the royal rumble so look out for that i think dan's gonna be on there might even get justin who knows but that's coming up this week hopefully no matter what regardless schedules change you know sickness happens all kinds of stuff so you know we'll see but I will be back on Thursday, so let me know what you think. Please share this out and follow along on everything. Just share it out. Get more you know, eyes and ears. You can share it out on your socials. Share it out to pages. Get more. You know, you can do that quick thing, and it helps out. Don't forget Facebook, YouTube, and Rumble for the videos, and all across the board on listening platforms from Anchor to Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts, Overcasts. Well, I'm all over the place, so check it out. Follow along. Share them out. Let me know what you think, especially about going back and doing older stuff. 
why that's glitching i have no idea but i'll be back on thursday so enjoy your week try to enjoy the wrestling next couple days until then peace